Hello guys, here, are, here we are again on our practical research lesson. So for this time, we'll be sharing, uh, I will be sharing to you the lesson on the kinds of research across the field. So do not, please, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And once again, welcome to Teacher Desk to You channel. So, on the kinds of research across fields, which is our lesson number four, um, for this lesson, we have the objective of identifying some topics for research and also to examine the possible research topic by using questions with regard to its scope, reason of choosing it, and the practical application of this research. So, to begin with, some people say that the hardest part in the research is cho choosing a topic for a study. <coughs> but this time, it is not the case. So, out of our curiosity or having an inquisitive mind and being observant in the surroundings, we'll also facilitate on looking for the topics on research. So, how do we become aware of our surroundings? We can be aware of our surroundings and know things because you can use a range of methods of inquiry that incorporate ways of knowing to help construct information in different areas of information or our AOI. So, let me share to you some of this possible area of information or the AOI, let's say for example, we, cons we will be considering the area of mathematics, the natural sciences, the human sciences. We can also have the topic on history as well as on the arts, the ethics, religious knowledge system, as well as indigenous knowledge system. So, many more. Actually, we can explore those range of area of knowledge. Uh, we cannot only limit it to those eight that I have uh, shared to you, those area of information. But we can focus on individual academic discipline. So that is to think about the nature of knowledge in our specific area of interest so let me scan to you some of this area and its description so that you will be having the knowledge so first is the kinds of research across field which has the area of interest or the A AOI of art based research so you can see also in our screen the description and the example of study so for Arts-based research, which is personal expression in various art forms, is used as primary mode of inquiry. So we have here the example one, the rule of arts in student achievement in reading, as well as how classroom artistic structure motivates learning. So another is the research in humanities. So as you can see there in our screen, the description on research in humanities which covers or deals with human culture such as philosophy, the religion, the literature, the <coughs> linguistics, as well as the history. It also includes the ancient and modern languages, the human geography, laws, politics, and other social sciences. So we cite the example which is values, education, the public school, practices, and challenges. And we have also children's in conflict with our law or a resolution and intervention. Another AOI or the area of interest is the sports research. So on sports research, as you can see here, it helps the coaches and athletes to access information and apply it to the de and to develop programs and techniques and in sport so 
you can see also here the example the two example first is the student involvement in athletics and and their academic performance the second is sports and fitness supports on students in public school another thing is on science research so on science research you can also discover laws we have postulates theories that can explain natural or social phenomena we have also applied systematic and constructed scientific method to obtain anal uh, and analyze and interpret data and a strong and testable hypothesis is the fundamental parts of the scientific research so again we have there uh, it is flashed in our screen the example of the research on the field of mathematics it provides mathematics mastery topics and helps develop confidence and interest to solve more mathematical problem so on this area i can give you an example which is which wa which was my thesis during my master's degree um, the reward system as motivating factor on statistics and probability of grade 11 students another is on agriculture in the area of interest on agriculture so what does it uh, provides or the agriculture research also helps improve productivity and quality of crops irrigation the storage methods we have the effective farm management and marketing of agricultural resources and agriculture is the backbone of the economic system which it provides us the food the raw material and also the employment opportunities so again we have here the two examples for this area of interests another is on fisheries so uh, we have here it also helps to increase the productivity and management of fishery resources to provide food pro protect and maintain different bodies of water for sustainable supply of aquatic resources so on information and communication technology or the ICT which aims to adopt current technology advancement which enhances development of resources so we have the two example here first is the role of ICT in the new normal education uh, we have also exploring the interactive computer simulation of in public schools and another is the business on business side which is to acquire information in business to maximize the sales and profit it also aids business companies regulates which product or service is most profitable or in demand so again you can see there the example in our skin which is flash or you could also see it on our screen the two examples uh, we have also on social science so it finds solution for human behavior and also gathering information about people and society so actually the best way to examine if you have the feasible areas of information is to analyze actually is to analyze it so for each area of interest you can ask the following question first is what is the scope of your study the second is what lead you to pursue this study another thing is where are you going to apply your findings fourth one are you familiar with the concepts and theories behind it uh, uh, let's say for example you choose on the the area of interest that you've chosen is uh, on social sciences so do you know or are you familiar with the concepts of what you are uh, researching so and also the theory behind it 
And another thing is, do you have the knowledge on methods to be used? So, and through this question, you can answer this. As you answer this, it would also determine the key feature of each area as identified. As well as the specific terminology and the concepts which shape that the area of the which shapes the area of the information and the uh, it is also included the key historical developments that have influenced and shaped each area which are identified as well as the way that each makes use of particular methodology which you will realize you have the ability and the capability of to continue with the study. So the sets of questions given to you or that I've shared to you is very effective to compare and contrast area of the information. So what do you need to to remember or what are the things to remember when you choose an area of topic for research first is you have to identify a research area based on um, your need and interest should match it is because if you are interested in let's say for example you are interested on in building houses then you can make an investigation to its effect diba? So, maybe you can study the type of material suited in your place. You can also produce new materials best for the area where you live. So, we can, uh, in choosing the, 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 in identifying a research which is based on your interest, it is just like you are um, planning to build your own house. Another thing is, you need to have some knowledge of area of studies or experience in that area. So, um, have you any experience? Have you? Have and have you any experience in this area? Or have you read about it? Uh, if, you're, if you are choosing a topic, you may also have the problems providing support for your study. So, readings and doing a lot of library works will also help you. So, surfing the net will also be a big help. So, it is like just having a big library at home. Just be analytical on what you will read. Third is, you have to narrow the area sufficiently so that it is not too broad nor too narrow. So, what does it mean? If it is too broad, you may not have enough time to conduct it or the result can become very unwidely. If it is too narrow, in the other hand, it may not yield any benefit to anyone. So it may not also solve the problem that you want to solve. And be beware also, be, or be aware of the time element or your time frame so a research can only be considered good once you finish it the fourth one is you identify an area on which you can get help easily so let's say for example getting your um, if you choose an area area of interest be sure that you have really the interest on that topic so that your teacher or your super your immediate supervisor can help you on that topic so getting your sur supervisor who has an interest in that area you want to study will be a great help so apart from that you must make sure that there are enough reading materials for you to access if you need help as help for people especially those in authority in your area of research so as you go on to your area of interest on the topic that you are really uh, 
you have really the interest to study. So, do not be afraid to ask questions. So, I think that's... Uh, those are the things that you have to remember as you choose the area of topic for your research. So, for my references, uh, actually, these references or these clips from this or... Uh, what I presented to you is also a topic from our module number, the lesson number four of our module, week number four for practical research one. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you can learn from a simple video lesson. And do not forget, all together, let's have happiness and learning. Because learning with happiness is learning to success. So please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updated lesson video. Again, I'm your teacher, Des Tuyo. Thank you.